They're playing God with your hair. Powers metal. How you doing, folks? I've got a, a breaking news, maybe, for someone who lives in Tucson, at least, or uh, any, especially anyone on Mount Lemon, is uh, actually one of my neighbor's uh, cabin it burnt to the ground tonight at Mount Lemon, and uh, we don't have gotten much information, but I did get shared this video, so I'm going to show you this video, and then I'm going to roll on to uh, an interview of some people that were up here at the time, but uh, they do have it under control, and uh, I was scared to death because when a cabin burns up here, it it starts heading, and you get... My name is Leroy, Leroy Day. Leroy, so uh, what did you, what happened here? Um, well, the uh, pages went out for the for the uh, fire call, and uh, when we were coming, we were volunteers, my wife and I, and when we decided to come, we grabbed the plow just in case it was up the back roads, and it was kind of lucky that we did, because it was up there where one of the roads that doesn't get plowed. So you plowed it out for the for the fire crew, for huh? The fire crew, so wow. we get the truck up there. That's incredible. So we were just awesome. sledding, going out for a fun day, sledding in the snow. Yeah. And uh, heard some sirens. I I told my friends that it was just somebody up at uh, probably Ski Valley. And probably within a half hour of us being up here sledding, we decided to go back. And by then, the entire cabin was up in flames. It's you could see it. Yeah, the whole cabin from like two or three hundred. Two or three hundred feet away, probably even a little more. Yeah, I mean, were you thinking it's going to be coming up the mountain? I mean, did it look like some forest fire or something? That was that was a thought of the surrounding cabins. Uh, luckily, it's there's a little bit of snow on the ground, but still pretty sca scary to see. So you have a cabin up here on Mount Lemon? Oh uh, yeah, my family has a cabin. My aunt and uncle. Yeah. Yeah. Never seen nothing like that, huh? Not uh, that close, I don't think. I, I remember, well, I don't remember. I was young when the fire that burnt most of Mount Lemon. But uh, when you saw it tonight, I mean, do you it, you heard sirens coming? Yeah, we heard the, what I now know was probably the fire trucks. But uh, I thought it was either like somebody getting pulled over or somebody just needing help that got injured at first. And then it turned out to be a entire cabin engulfed in flames. Did you get a chance to go see it? Uh, we did. We walked probably within 100 yards of it. Wow. And then the, you knew the cabin, it, it looked like it's pretty much done, huh? Yeah, the, you couldn't even tell it was a cabin. It just looked, it, it was just burning remnants. And then you heard something, you said? Yeah, you could hear the wood popping. It sounded like the cabin fell at one point. Uh, you just hear everything here. A lot of wood snapping and crackling. Wow. What's your name? Uh, my name is Quentin. Quentin? Yeah, Quentin. Quentin Gerby. All righty. Well, thank you, Quentin. Yeah, thank you. So here is, uh, unfortunately, what's left of the cabin. And as you can see, the it's still burning right now. Actual flames coming up. It's a real hard one for me to take because uh, this usually would have been the view of a big, beautiful cabin. One of my friends lived here for many years. Wow, this is unbelievable. That was. Well, thank God the trees didn't. Yeah, really and, and again, you know, really last bad. week we had three inches of rain, so I know. it saved everything. Humidity, it's just like yeah. when Marty's growing up. Yeah. Humidity yeah. saved the day. Saved the day. So when someone finally saw it, it was already a done, done no, deal? No, it was reported early, but trying to get up here again our 911 system said it was on ski run road because the people renting barnellas oh. called it in and then these guys called it in so this is a turkey run so i called it in and talked directly to uh, jacob and said you got well, it up turkey run on guthrie the 911 system is screwed screwed well i mean it's not it's not good because what happened So again, where I'm standing, this is almost porch level of a nice three-bedroom uh, house. Well, it was almost a three-story if you include the basement was a good area. I spent a lot of hours in this cabin. 
There's a really beautiful cabin. Obviously the flames aren't even out because it take a lot of water to put it out. Ginger, come. Stay out of there. Stay out of there. Anyway, there's people keep an eye on it. Really sad to see your neighbors and friends place looking like this. Look how close that is. Talk about a scary situation. Another one right over there. Good friend of ours. Another one right there. And a whole bunch right past it. Up that way. So if this thing got out of control, it would have been unstoppable in no time. So there is my sad story of one of my neighbor's cabins completely gone on top of Mount Lemon right off of um, it's called Gross Beak Road is where it's at which is just above um, Turkey Run but thankful I'm very I'm thankful my, my, my friend's cabin right here that's a brand new add-on beautiful cabin that could have been lost real fast not much t distance in between them Seeing that? Alrighty. Real News Tucson, reporter Chris Haskell. Pretty new cabins, but not that one right there. The green one made it through the fire. So sad, sad to see this shit. Right over your heads, they're playing God with your air. Howard Meadows. That's the gentleman tonight who leads the Tucson group. He really believes it. He really does.